Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree 82 of the year 2020 appointing the Chief Executive Officer of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak bin Dana, as a special envoy for climate affairs with the rank of Minister. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Kuwait Samir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the success of the parliamentary elections held yesterday. His Majesty the King praised the impeccable organization and the high turnout that reflected the depth and development of the Kuwaiti parliamentary experience. His Majesty lauded the progress of democracy practices in Kuwait as well as their achievements that have consolidated the status of the state within the Arab world and internationally. His Majesty the King wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the success of the parliamentary elections held in Kuwait. His Royal Highness praised the impeccable organization and highlighted the high turnout which reflected the depth and development of the Kuwaiti parliamentary experience. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished Kuwait a further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today Saudi Arabia's Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, General Fayyad bin Hamad Al Rueli. The Commander in Chief presented General Fayyad Al Rueli with the Order of Bahrain of the First Class bestowed upon him by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also conveyed greetings from His Majesty the King to Saudi Arabia's Chief of the General Staff for his good efforts and fruitful role in strengthening the fraternal. Bahraini Saudi relations, as well as enhancing cooperation and coordination in the military and defense fields. The Commander in Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the Chief of the General Staff at the British Army, General Sir Nicholas Carter. The Commander in Chief presented General Carter with the Orden of Bahrain of the First Class, conferred on him by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Commander in Chief conveyed the greetings of His Majesty to the British Army's Chief of the General Staff for his good efforts and fruitful role in strengthening the friendly Bahraini British relations as well as enhancing cooperation and coordination in the military and defense fields. The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of Jordan, Major General Yusuf Ahmed Al Hunayti. The Commander-in-Chief presented Major General Yusuf Ahmed Al Hunayti with the Order of Bahrain of the First Class bestowed upon him by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to him for his good efforts and fruitful role in strengthening the fraternal Bahraini-Jordanian relations, as well as in enhancing cooperation and coordination in the military and defense fields. Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Via bin Sagr Naimi, Defense Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and senior BDF officers were present. The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa today hosted a lunch banquet in, order in honor of Saudi Arabia's Chief of the General Staff, General Fayyad bin Hamad Al Rueli, the Chairman of the Joint Staff uh, Chiefs of Staff of Jordan, Major General Yusuf Ahmed Al Hunayti, and the Chief of the General Staff at the British Army General Sir Nicholas Carter at the lunch banquet held at the BDF Officers Club. The Commander-in-Chief welcomed the guests lauding the good efforts they exerted and the fruitful rules they are playing to enhance their brotherly and friendly countries' military and defense cooperation with Bahrain. A number of senior BDF officers also attended the lunch banquet. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the British Chief of the Defence Staff, General Sir Nicholas Patrick Carter. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised his participation in Manama Dialogue and reviewed the path of Bahraini-British relations, stressing mutual keenness to develop them at all levels in a manner that serves the common interests of the two kingdoms. The National Security Advisor hailed the United Kingdom's role in the regional and international arenas and its efforts and contributions to consolidating the foundations 
of security and stability in the world. British Chief of Defence Staff expressed his appreciation for Bahrain's efforts in strengthening the historical bilateral ties, especially in the military and defence cooperation, praising the Kingdom's role in establishing security and peace in the region. They discussed topics of common interest. The British Ambassador to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond, was also present. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Afghani National Security Advisor, Dr. Hamdallah Mohib, who participated in the 16th edition of Manama Dialogue. The meeting reviewed the distinguished and bilateral relations and means to deploy or to develop cooperation at all levels to serve common interests and in support of global stability and security. The Afghani advisor expressed his appreciation for the role played by the kingdom in support in global stability, stressing the importance of strengthening relations between the two countries. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Al Wadi Palace the Saudi Sports Minister and President of the Saudi Olympic Committee, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turkiya Al Faisal, who is visiting the kingdom to attend the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that His Royal Highness's visit to the kingdom reflects the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which were established on the firm foundations and were bolstered by the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The two sides exchanged talks on developing relations and cooperation on the sports field, which contributes to increasing the competency of athletes. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that the visit of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turkey to attend the Grand Prix affirms the support of Saudi Arabia to the kingdom in hosting and organizing these international races. He added that Bahrain will dedicate its expertise in organizing the Formula One race to support Saudi Arabia after it gained the trust of the International Automobile Federation to organize a Formula One race in Jeddah next year. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Turki expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain and pride in the opportunity the visit provides to bolster cooperation between the two countries at the sports level, especially car sports. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting held remotely and presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh. The council maintained its previous decision on a draft law amending a number of provisions regarding commercial registration which aims to facilitate the acquisition of commercial registration and approvals of engaging in commercial activities. The council discussed a draft law regulating the process of extracting and selling marine sand. The council also discussed two supplementary reports on a proposal to replace Article 64 of the labor law in the private sector and a proposal on adding item 3 on article 19 of civil service law which the council rejected. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today British Secretary of State for the Home Department, Priti Patel, and her accompanying delegation. Present were the UK Ambassador to the Kingdom, Bahrain's Ambassador to the UK, the Chief of Public Security, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports, and Residence Affairs, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior. The Minister welcomed his UK counterpart who participated in the Manama Dialogue hosted by the Kingdom as part of its efforts in promoting regional stability as well as international peace and security. Minister Al Khalifa affirmed the importance of the topics discussed this year, adding that the Manama Dialogue bolsters joined action to achieve security and stability. He commended the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the UK as well as the keenness on supporting and bolstering them to achieve joint interests. The meeting reviewed several security topics and regional development to promote security cooperation and coordination to support bilateral cooperation in order to enhance performance in tackling security as well as regional and international challenges. Meanwhile, Chief of Public Security Lieutenant General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan briefed the meeting on the development and modernization plans launched by the Interior Minister, including the introduction of the community police, noting the significant advancement the force has witnessed over the years. The force has a role in different fields, including the Ma'an or Together program against violence and addiction, martial officers at police stations and juvenile care centers, the, the enforcement of alternative penalty law, and the community 
community partnership. The development of the community police has contributed to making the force a Bahraini pioneer experience in the police work. The chief also highlighted the joint security team meeting between the security authorities of both countries that led to the exchange of expertise and experiences and the introduction of the latest modern technology methods to meet security challenges. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, stressed that security partnerships in the Middle East region are necessary to maintain regional and national security. He stated that no country in the region can guarantee its security in isolation. This came during the speech delivered the Minister of Foreign Affairs today at the concluding plenary session of the Manama Dialogue under the title New Security Partnerships in the Middle East. Dr. Zayani pointed out that the most important development that occurred in the Middle East region this year was the signing of the Abraham Accords and the opportunity it provided to establish new partnerships for regional security. He said the main goal must always be to protect national and common interests within the framework of a region that enjoys security, stability and peace that benefit all states and people. The minister noted that since the signing of the Accords, the approach of all three regional states, Bahrain, the UAE and Israel, has clearly demonstrated that this is not a narrow transactional security focused cooperation. Rather, all three countries have moved quickly to develop a broad and deep cooperation that is proactive and intended to help consolidate security, stability and prosperity for the entire Middle East, its countries and people. He stressed that resolving the Palestinian-Israeli conflict on the basis of the two-state solution, as envisioned in the Arab Peace Initiative, would protect the rights, interests and security of all parties and would demonstrate beyond question the value of working together to resolve outstanding issues. Moreover, it would remove a pretext to justify some of the threats that the region has a seen to security, be they from states or non-state actors. Dr. Zayani stated that the United States of America played an effective role in achieving the Abraham Accords. The minister also congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of two important international events, the Formula One and the Manama Dialogue at a time in which the world is facing the COVID-19 pandemic. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr. Naif bin Falah Mbarak al Hajraf, on the sidelines of the 16th Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, they reviewed joint Gulf action and ways to enhance and develop it to meet the aspirations of member states and their citizens. The two sides also exchanged views on a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary for Regional and GCC Affairs, Ambassador Wahid Mbarak Sayyar, and the Assistant Under Secretary for GCC and Arab Countries Affairs. Ambassador Yusuf Mohammed Jamil and the accompanying delegation of the GCC Secretary General. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met today the Home Secretary of the United Kingdom, Priti Patel, on the sidelines of the 16th Manama Dialogue. They highlighted the strong historical relations between the two kingdoms, affirming their keenness to further develop them in various fields in the service of both countries and their people. They also discussed a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Assistant Foreign Minister, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabur Dosiri and the Director of European and European Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Sheikh Aisha bint Ahmed bin Sagr Al Khalifa. On the British side, the meeting was attended by the UK Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Ambassador Roddy Drummond, and the delegation accompanying the Home Secretary. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met the Secretary of German Federal Foreign Office, Miguel Berga, on the sidelines of the 16th Manama Dialogue. The two sides stressed the importance of their friendly bilateral relations, noting their development at various levels. They also discussed means of further enhanced joint cooperation and coordination in order to serve the interests of both countries. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Director of the European and European Union Affairs Directorate. At the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Ambassador Sheikh Aisha bin Ahmed bin Sagar Al Khalifa. From the German side, it was attended by the Ambassador of Germany to Bahrain, Kai Bokemann, and the German delegation. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Zayani, met the Ambassador of the European Union to the Kingdom of Bahrain, residing in Riyadh, Patrick Simonet, on the sidelines of the 16th Manama Dialogue. Both sides reviewed the close friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union, affirming their mutual keenness to strengthen their ties to achieve the aspirations of their people. They also discussed a number of issues of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Director of European and European Affairs Directorate Ambassador Sheikha Aisha bint Ahmed bin Sagar Al Khalifa. The Saudi Sports Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, arrived in Bahrain to attend the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix 2020. Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad received his Saudi counterpart upon his arrival. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,515 with 166 recoveries and 132 registered new cases. 73 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 47 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.